Hi, my name is James Kong for the eye. In a few days, students will be heading off to their interim trips while I'll be visiting India. But before I do, I got a chance to interview a few to find out how much they knew about their interim trips. First, I asked them what places surround their destination. Uh, well, there's Tibet, uh, Nepal, that's all. Australia. <laughs> uh, there is Vietnam, there is Singapore, there is Indonesia, and there is many, many other. Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and China, I think. Where would I go on the map to find the country? You'd have to go, you'd just find India. India. North India. I don't know, specifically, where is it? Approximately, it's a five-hour drive from Panticot, so that could correlate to about, a, I'd say, 100 kilometers east of Panticot. Down, and then south east of Singapore. Uh, you could go, it's the chin of Asia, so like this part, the chin. So uh, you can go to the... Uh, Asia, go to Asia first, and then go south, the bottom part of Asia. It's like a pointy chin. You know how the fleck looks like? Yes. Can you describe it? It's something like that. It's, there, there's like a weird circle symbol in the middle of it. I guess it's a holy symbol for them or something, like the cow. but. I'm not so sure. Uh, yeah, it would be the Indian flag. It's green at the top, then there's a white strap at the bottom with this circular symbol in the middle, and then orange, reddish strip at the bottom. It's like Britain's flag, and then a whole bunch of stars around it. It's, it's, got, it's got like a red thing, and then it's got stars around it. Uh, do you know who the ruler or the president of the country is? No. No. Filipino guy, I guess. You know, this interview is over because <laughs> I have no idea.